I'm from Leightonstone, that is my home. East 1 1, yeah, that's the postcode. Don't rep for the manor or rep for a gang. It's just where I'm raised, man, it's not who I am. See, you all around the city, I know loads of good people. We're all around trying to keep it peaceful. There's another energy that wants to be evil. That frequency, it could never be equal. What makes me proud to live in Waltham Forest is this energy that comes from having lots of people interacting from lots of different backgrounds. Only five pounds a cheese here, girl. Local to Waltham Forest, yeah, I've been here since I was a kid. I was born in Witch Cross Hospital down the road. We're in Wolvenstow, and this is my Caribbean jerk fusion. Welcome to St Peter in the Forest. This is a remarkable church. We're here in the forest, it's the edge of Walthamstow. We've been here for uh, about 16, 17 years now. This is home, it was home man. It obviously has attracted in recent times for this year the accolade of being London Borough of Culture, the first such borough, and it's well deserved because this is a place in which people who are creative and who want to be creative um, have uh, migrated, have gravitated, and there's so much good stuff happening. I'm from Walthamstow and I'm known here because whenever I drop, your eye goes clear. It's kitsch, one take. I'm a hip hop artist, a rap artist, someone that does music. Beyond that, I also do some work with young people, so that's like in the capacity of mentoring or also doing workshops as well. We call this our rocks room because that's what we call our children's church group. And uh, I was very pleased when I came into this room to see the lovely rainbow that people have painted over the old 1887 arch, a sign of hope. But as you glance up from the rainbow, you can see uh, where the anxiety might be, that this is where the damage and the threat to this building is most visible. Down this end of the market, it really did need, it really, really did need fixing up. Without this national lottery money, this building would be closed down as no longer usable this year. Grime Wolfen Forest, it's, it's all about looking at where Grimes come from and Wolfham Forest is like one of the main areas that Graham originated from. Loads of history here, loads of artists as well from the borough, whether it's Lethal B, Jamma, Deep Power, etc. So Graham Wolfham Forest was essentially a celebration of that. The lottery fund gives people that option to say, all right, cool, now we can make plan A kind of happen. Your shop front looks nice. The area looks nice, you'll get more custom. And every customer said, oh my God, it looks so nice. So it helped, it helped a lot. We wouldn't have been able to do it without the funding. Not run down no more. We want to see people praying here, people chatting over coffee here, people strolling in from the forest and learning about natural history over there, people upstairs dancing or doing theatre or doing film. Everything the past, gonna live for today. I would say the funding has affect, affected me personally because it's just allowed me to grow as a person, as an artist. I get to, I've got to perform on great stages, I've got to collaborate with different people. I also got to run some workshops as well as a producer. I got no time for worries, tomorrow's another day. <laughs> From doing Grand Wolf and Forest, meeting people like a Sharky Major for instance, connections form legacy, form opportunity and I'm grateful for it, very grateful for it. I'm quite excited to see what happens next in my career. So thank you Lottery, thank you! I feel like a winner, woo!